Hello, BookTube. This is um, a book tour of, a shelf tour of the fourth bookcase, the big wall bookcase, the fourth shelf in the fourth section. Um, continue on with our history and ancient world thing um, and literature and all that. Let's start off with a uh, book by an excellent historian, Paul Cartledge, and it's his Thermopylae, The Battle That Changed the World. And this is um, Overlook Press, and it's 2006. Uh, in 480 BC, a huge Persian army, led by the fabled King Xerxes, entered the mountain pass of Thermopylae and march, uh, as they marched on Greece, intending to uh, conquer the land with little difficulty. But the Greeks, led by King Leonidas and a small army of Spartans, took the battle to the Persians at Thermopylae and halted their advance, almost. It's one of history's most celebrated battles, one of civilization's greatest last stands. And in Thermopylae, renowned classical historian Paul Cartledge newly examines this history-altering moment and, most impressively, shows how its repercussions have bearings on us even today. The invasion of Europe by Xerxes and his armies redefined culture, kingdom, and class. The valiant efforts of a few thousand Greek warriors facing a huge onrushing Persian army at the narrow pass at Thermopylae changed the way generations to come would think about combat, courage, and death. What a wonderful book. This next volume is really something. Um, it's this Col uh, Colin McVevity, Cities of the Classical World, an atlas and gazetteer of 120 centers of ancient civilization. This is a fun one to just dip into, or if you're reading something that has a particular area. These are the end papers. Uh, edited by Douglas Stewart Oles, uh, Alan Lane, an imprint of Penguin Books. Uh, okay, and uh, this was from 2011. So here you see a list of cities. So let's just go pick one at random here. Caesarea Maritima, which is in Israel now. 74. Well, it's always been where it is, but it's now part of the state of Israel. So here I'll have a map. I'll show you the history, population. Uh, so let's find a bigger place. So Ephesus. Okay, so I'm doing a population study for uh, Jerusalem. Salona. So a fun book. It's pretty handy. Then uh, here's Arthur Cotterell, Chariot, the Chariot to Tank, the astounding rise and fall of the world's first war machine. And that's an Overlook Press also. Woodstock in New York, 2004. So, Introduction, Chariot Battle, The Rise of the Charioteer, West Asia and Egypt, Europe, India, China, The End of the War Chariot, Survivals, Ritual and Racing, Afterwards, Modern Myths. So it's illustrated throughout. Not a big fan of the paper. It seems to already be yellowing. Um, so there you have the chariot. Here's a nice volume, uh, The History of Herodotus, uh, translated by David Green. Um, this is University of Chicago Press, Chicago and London, 1987. David Green is a professor on the Committee on Social Thought at the University of Chicago. Uh, so, I think this is where I first read Herodotus. But I do have other translations. So next is a section of books, actually. Let's see, I think there was four of them. Let me make sure I'm not... Yeah. These are all put out by Yale University Press. New Haven in London, 
and they're they're called Hermes books. Uh, the first one here, Sarah Mack on Ovid. Then I have Hesiod by Robert Lamberton. Aeschylus by John Harrington. And then uh, Homer by Puella Vivente. Here we get, like, so the Homer, let's get a date. 1985, the Aeschylus is 86. Hesiod, get back into the page here, 88, and the Ovid, 88. So a good little, um, little guides to each of those authors. Next is a three-volume set from Oxford University Press that is, is a wonder of its kind, and it's, uh, Idea, the ideals of Greek culture. So here's volume one. They're all by Werner Jaeger and uh, translated from the German by Gilbert Hyatt, a name we've mentioned before. Volume two, In Search of the Divine Center. And volume three, The Conflict of Cultural Ideas in the Age of Plato. Uh, so volume one. Translated from second German edition, second edition, uh, so this, the second edition with notes came out in 1945, um, this is a paperback edition that's later than that, I don't know what the date is. So, um, let's see, Werner Jagger's acclaimed three volume works, Trees Paida, the shaping of Greek character as a basis for a study of Hellenism as a whole and to explain the interaction between the historical processes by which Greek character was formed and the intellectual process of which they constructed their ideal of the human personality. This first volume describes the flowering of Greek culture towards the, uh, during the archaic and classical epics and preceding the fall of Athens at the end of the Peloponnesian Wars at the beginning of the 4th century BC. Volume two, uh, you got to grab the right one. The project of Greek culture in its heroic period was the creation of the perfect state, a goal that seemed within reach as in Athens in the fifth century BC. But with the fall of Athens, that prospect evaporated, and the result, which Werner Jaeger describes in his second volume of his magisterial three-volume study of Hellenism, was the spiritualizing of Greek culture, the search for the divine center. Jaeger traces the growth of this new power in human culture from the early beginnings in the teachings of Socrates to its natural climax in Plato's Republic. And then the third volume, the final volume of Jaeger's three-volume Paideia, begins at the same point as its predecessors, the fall of the Periclean Empire, but pursues a different line of intellectual development. Its subject is the logical antithesis of the philosophical forces of the age. Those cultural forces, such as medicine, which depend upon practical experience and common sense rather than upon, upon first principles. After exploring the conflict between the two, two opposing ideas, Jaeger returns to Plato and discusses his prophetic last work, The Laws, as a prelude to the tragic decline and fall of the free city-state of the classical era. So one good good stuff. Um, I go back to it every once in a while and enjoy it very much. This uh, next one is an uh, Alberto Manguel um, who we've run into before uh, and it's also a volume in the Books That Change the World series. Um, this one's the Iliad and the Odyssey, a biography. Um, we uh, previously saw Karen's Armstrong volume in this series on the Bible. This one is uh, Atlantic Monthly Press, New York, 2007. It starts out with summaries of the books, A Life of Homer, with a question mark, Among the Philosophers, Virgil, Christian Homer, Other Homers, Homer and Islam, Dante, Homer and Hell, Greek versus Latin, Ancients versus Moderns, Homer as Poetry, Realms of Gold, Homer as Idea, The Eternal Feminine, Homer as Symbol, Homer as History, Madame Homer, Ulysses Travels, Homer Through the Looking Glass, The Never-Ending War, and Everyman. And anything by Alberto Manguel, especially when he's discussing books, is uh, 
I, I take the time to check it out. And a nice volume. So that is the end of the fourth section of the fourth big wall bookcase and the fourth shelf. Thank you, Booktube.